Well, all right, we've got the electrical work done, so it's time to get on to the next task. Uh, so that part is going to be cleaning up all the mess that has built up in here. All the bits and pieces and tools that I've been bringing in to handle things. i got to get that all put away and stuff taken back out to the shop where it belongs. So let's get to that. Well, that's certainly looking a little better now. I got the bulk of things picked up and put away. Got a little more room to work. But I still have a little more closet work to do here. So the closet still needs a closet rod, an upper shelf, and a ceiling because there's nothing there. But I do want to be able to have access to that ceiling, so I'm probably just going to use a piece of plywood and put a, about four wood screws in it and paint it to match the rest of the closet. As for the closet rod, I want to use a wooden dowel because I think they just look a lot nicer than the metal things. But I don't think I have any more inch and a half dowel in stock. So I may have to make a run into Canadian Tire or Home Depot and pick up a couple of supplies. Not to mention something at Canadian Tire that I really like the looks of that they have on special. All right, so let's get on with the next step. So it is coronavirus time. We have come to Canadian Tire to pick up a few parts and there are not many people in here. This is pretty unusual to see it like this. And people are being pretty sensible about keeping distance and that kind of thing. So that's good. We'll get our parts and head home. So I'm out in the shop today. I've got a few pieces left to make up for the spare room. Let's see, mostly for the closet. I've got to make the, the ceiling piece for the closet and the shelf bracket and the support for the coat hanger rod. And I've also got to make a spacer to put in over top of the door that goes into the room because there's just a big gap there which will lead to trouble when I try to put the door frame trim up. So we'll make a spacer for that. So let's get to it.
Okay, we're back out in the shop again. And as you can hear from the dull roar in the background, it's raining pretty good out there. So I've got all my wooden shelf pieces in here. Uh, it's time to get them sanded down and ready for painting. So that'll be the next job and then we'll go inside and hopefully start putting a, a final coat of the primer on the spots I just finished patching up again on the walls. Did I mention how much I hate drywall? I hate drywall. Especially when I'm trying to patch up something that's uh, pretty wonky in the first place. Doesn't make it any easier. But hopefully we're there. We'll get this last bit of primer in place and then actually start putting some finished colors on the walls and the ceiling. Getting closer. All right, let's get this sanding done. So the ceiling is now complete. We have two good coats of ceiling paint on there. That uh, turned out quite nice. And there is also two coats of primer on there before just to make sure we get a nice good adherence of the finished coat. So it is dry but not actually hard yet which is why I have not put the light fixtures back up in place. I want to give the paint a couple more days to actually harden up. I have done this kind of thing before and put the light fixtures up too early while the paint was still soft. And then when I went to change the light fixtures, there was actually a ring pressed into the, into the paint that showed up when I was going to install a new fixture. So, because these fixtures are undoubtedly going to get changed, I'm going to avoid doing that give this uh, ceiling paint a few days, probably a week, to harden up. But in the meantime, it's time to start the cutting in process for the wall colors.
Well, that's pretty much it. The walls and ceiling are now complete. Electrical is all done. All new plugs are installed and switches. And we're just about ready to move on to the next part of this room, which is the floors. So they have to be lightly wet sanded with my grinder and a diamond wheel I've got and then a uh, leveling compound poured on top of them, a very thin layer. And then we'll put the tiles down. So that should be pretty interesting. That's not something I've done before. So that'll be the next task. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you next time.